Hi. Hi guys, I'm Brianna. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Brie. What's up? First of all, before I even start this video at all, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. Here, little walking is my dog Zeus. He, he won't understand the words get out. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'm just talking about my piercings and you know, all about it, like when I got them and little stuff like that. So let's get into it. All right, so the first piercing that I have ever gotten in my entire life was the, the simple little earlobe ones, you know? I got them when I was a little baby, probably like a couple months old. You know, your mom takes you and you cry a little bit. So I can't even tell you anything about that one because I don't remember, obviously. But the second piercing I ever got was my second hole. My second piercing, my second earlobe one, which is right above it, you know, that one, this one right here. Um, I got that one when I was also kind of young, but it didn't hurt at all. It felt like a little, little pinch. That's it. And I went on with my day. So, and I would show you my jewelry for these two, but I have a whole bunch of take forever. The next piercing I got was my cartilage. We'll call it a cartilage or a helix. But let's call it cartilage, you know, they're the same thing. And it's not this, it's this little diamond right here. There. I actually have a funny story to tell you guys. So, before I even got this professionally done, I pierced it myself before. Um, I was with the twins. Siani and Angie, and they they pierced theirs their own, and I like told them I was like, no guys, I'm okay, I don't really want to do this, and then you know I felt some peer pressure. How old was I? I was about we were probably like nine, no, maybe even like younger, like seven, and I was like, guys, I'm good, you guys could do it, but I'm gonna stay back here and not do that. And yeah, I felt a peer pressure and they did it anyways. And the way that they did it was probably the most horrible way you could probably do it. They just took an ice cube. Okay, I'm being so serious when I tell you guys this. They took an ice cube, they numbed up our ears. We numbed up our ears. And we just took a really, really pointy earring and just went bah! I was crying. They were fine. CC and Angie, they were perfectly fine they're like oh haha it didn't hurt at all and now over here like oh my god it hurt so much it was bleeding it was a mess it was horrible don't i don't know maybe we're just stupid just don't pierce your own anything because anything can go wrong you can do it the wrong way and then it could get infected and then it could get ugly and it could get nasty and that's a no-no so for my helix anyways um, back to what I was saying, my helix, um, I use about almost the same rings that I use for my lobes, for these ones, you know, just little studs. The next piercing I got after that, after my helix or cartilage, whatever, I got my industrial bar. This bar right here. Before I got the industrial piercing, industrial bar thing my best friend Megan got it and I didn't really even I didn't even know it was a piercing I didn't even know you could have a bar in your ear at that time and she got it and I was like oh my god it looks amazing I love that you know then I wanted it it was so it was so cute and it just blew my mind of how adorable this piercing was and it took a while for my parents to like agree to it. I was like probably 13, 13, 14, around there. And of course, so they agreed to it, obviously, since I got it done. Doy. I was so happy with it. And Megan was there, obviously. She was, not obviously, but she was there with me because she loves piercings in general. And she just likes to watch people get piercings. Like she watches videos about people like getting piercings all the time. So she just wanted to see me get a piercing. And um, 
the pain on the industrial wasn't even that bad to be honest out of a 10 I would probably give it like a like a four or five it just feels like you're getting your helix done twice and then they just, just put a bar through it it's not even that bad I have some jewelry for my industrial because it's just so freaking cute you know you have to accessorize it so today I have the uh, the wiggly one it's like a squiggle um of course I have the original bar hold on I should probably do the thing you know the thing the original bar the one that it you know first was ever pierced with and then I got this one second it's like a little arrow it's door this is the one I usually have in a lot like most of the time I usually have this one in but oh my god, why am I blue? I have, they're mostly all silver, I only have two black ones. But yeah. And then I have this one. It's a bow. I actually never wore this one yet. And this one's kind of heavy. I don't really like it because it's kind of heavy. But it's cute. It's cute. It's just, I, I wore this one like once. In a little while though have a lot for this industrial and then I have this one it's a heart isn't it cute I don't really wear this one a lot because of my helix it just looks too cluttered so and then I have one last one and I also it doesn't even have a ball on it on either side what the heck well is this one it's like a circle I also don't wear this one a lot because it will look cluttered with my helix. Now I have one more piercing and it's more new so I don't really have any jewelry for it. But this piercing by far has been like the most painful out of these little ones that I got. And it is the rook piercing, okay? This piercing hurts so bad for no reason, okay? Honestly, getting it pierced itself didn't even hurt. What hurt mainly was putting the ring in. Like, what? This is the rook. And it hurt so bad. I was like doing this to my own hand and I was clinching, clinching, whatever the word is, gripping the chair. My heart was going extra fast. It wasn't good. It was horrible. But it's cute. The rook piercings are so difficult to change. So it's late November already. And I got this done in April for my birthday. And I still haven't changed it because I just can't. It doesn't hurt when I touch it. But when I try to like turn the bar, you know, the little ball at the end. When I try to twist it so I could take it out, it just hurts. And I don't know, maybe it's not healed yet. I clean it all the time. It doesn't swell up anymore. It was infected, but we ain't gonna talk about that. That's all my piercings so far. So I have eight piercings in total, if you count. The industrial has two, and if you count it as one, it's seven, but I count it as two because it's two holes. So my next piercing that I'm going for that I really want is a nose piercing. Just because I want it doesn't mean I'm going to get it. But, you know, that's my goal for my next piercing to be a nose piercing. Cut my hair. I don't look that different with short hair, right? No. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I had... A really relaxing time filming it for you guys like this video if you like it share it to your friends if you want to if you want them to know how my piercings went I guess comment what I should do for next week's video and I hope you guys had an awesome Thanksgiving bye love you guys